Controversy in Great Neck over where some high school students have been going to eat their lunch. The question tonight is a local synagogue going too far by mixing pizza with prayer. Here's CBS 2's Alex Gaynor. This looks like any typical lunch table after some hungry teens have eaten, but this is in a school cafeteria. Well, at first I started, yeah, because of the free food. Some students at Great Neck North High School have been coming to Congregation Torah Or up the block for a free lunch and learn program. It's really open to anyone. I've had friends who aren't uh, Jewish come, like Catholic friends who are come. But some claim Torah Or is using free food as a way to entice students to give them orthodox instruction. Citing deep concerns in a letter to parents, the principal wrote, Quote, quote, they were quietly eating while a man was instructing them in religious beliefs. There is no sign on the building even identifying it as a temple. Here at the school, there's an open campus policy for lunch, meaning students in all grades can leave and go wherever they want. Which may be why the Anti-Defamation League fired off a letter in response to the principal trying to create parent permission slips for lunch and learn, saying it was, quote, an infringement on a student's right to association and free exercise of religion in violation of the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. ADL then asked the principal to retract his letter, which he did, stating in a second letter to parents, quote, my letter was inappropriate and should be disregarded. Parents seem split. Parents assume that during lunch, kids are going to get lunch, not going to be preached to. There is no harm to anybody. A relief to some students who say they don't want a break in learning just because the lunch bell rings. In Great Neck, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. The rabbi did not want to appear on camera, but says the program has existed by word of mouth for the past three months. Principal Bernard Kaplan also did not want to appear on camera and says the issue has been resolved.